Let's give it up for a guy named Paul. It's actually Andrew Dunn. Was it part of the trick? <laughs> now, I don't, know, I don't know if you remember this, but we were working on this late last night. We were up to about 3 o'clock in the morning. I was working on a brand new invention I thought you would like. It's really cool. Let me get it out. Here it is. Check it out. It's done. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's the world's first imaginary deck of cards. Is that cool? Say yes. Yeah. I know this trick. Oh, I, 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 I do this. I like this one. Cool. Cool. I don't know this one, so don't, don't give it up for me just yet, okay? okay. Uh, I'll see if it works. Now, this is really cool. I want you to take the imaginary deck of cards. Now I want you to shuffle them. I say shuffle because I can't say shuffle. Take them out of the box. Oh, <laughs> Now, what I want you to do is I want you to pick a volunteer in the audience. You're going to look over the field, and now it looks like there's a couple weeds here and there, kind of like a flower garden. But just find someone. Go out there with your best magician voice. Spread the cards and have them select a card. Okay. Whoever you want. Okay. Right. Are you sure you're good at this? Yes, I'm All really right. good. Okay. Pick one card. Now, don't let me see it. Show it to everybody else. Okay, okay, see. Oh. Okay, you gotta remember your card, dude. Do you remember your card? Yeah, I got it. Make sure it's not a simple one, you know, like the aces and the kings. Those are the easy ones. Okay. But whatever it is, turn it upside down, shove it back in the deck. Okay. Okay? okay. Now, Chris, shuffle the deck as you're coming back. Put it in the box. All right? Come up over here, toss me the box. Nice. <laughs> Give him a big round of applause. You did great. <laughs> Now, he did a good job. He, he deserved a big round of applause. He might deserve a bigger round of applause, maybe even a standing ovation, if the one card that's inside this deck is the one card that, what's your name, dude? What is it? Alex, that is correct. Alex, the maybe the one card that Alex put in here upside down is the reverse card. He might get a standing ovation, don't you think? Yeah. Alex, for the first time, name your card. <laughs> one of the 52 cards in the deck. I don't play with jokers. He said the king of hearts. That's the only one. <laughs> no, I was trying to make you get a standing over. Eight of clubs, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's okay. That's okay. I said to do it because I know. That's okay. Watch. In here, there's one card, hopefully, one card reversed of all the cards in the deck. You guys might give Chris a standing ovation if that is the eight of clubs. Here today is, is a little message I wanted to share with you. What you 
just saw here, like tearing the paper up into shreds and putting it back together again, and that little card trick that we just did, is just that. It's a trick. It's not real magic. There is no real magic. I don't perform miracles. I come up here and I try to entertain people, but there's only one person that I know that can perform a miracle, and that's Jesus. We all know Jesus. A long time ago, um, we were lucky enough to have a God that created us in his image, in the image of Adam and Eve, and they created them pure, like this water here, and clean, without sin. But then we know the story goes, in the Garden of Eden, Eve was tempted by Satan, and she ate from the forbidden fruit of the tree of life, and then sin came into the world. This is nasty stuff in here. This is sin. Now, it doesn't matter if it's one sin, two sins, three sins, four sins. It's still sin. As you can see, you're not pure anymore. Now, some people think, if I do enough pure things and enough good deeds in life, whatever they might be, that might outweigh the bad stuff. But sin is still sin. Let's see if it works. If we put in some more good deeds, it doesn't change, does it? You're still sin. But the good news is there is one person that spent his life trying to bring the good news. And on this day, we celebrate that day of the cross of Calvary. He did the ultimate sacrifice for you because we all have sinned and come short of the fall, uh, short of the glory of God. But if we take the cross of Jesus and we cast all our concerns on Jesus and ask him to forgive us, he will cleanse us from all sin. Just like that. I want to thank you guys for coming in, and I want to wish you all a very happy Easter from P3 Magic Ministry, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. My name is Thank you. Thank you.